Welcome back to the Two Minute Warning, episode 474, back on the topic of the NFL. Again, today Jay and I are going to be looking at whether or not the Browns should trade Odell Beckham Jr., a guy that has obviously got some talent around his name ever since he made that catch back in like 2014, whatever that was. But today, again, we're going to be looking at whether or not the Browns should trade OBJ. But before we get into that, question of the day, and that is for you Browns fans, and we want to know whether or not you believe in Baker Mayfield moving forward as your franchise quarterback. Jay, he's going to be due for a for a big. He's going to be off his rookie contract after this year, I believe. Yeah. So it's going to be a big decision whether or not, or not whether or not, but what you're going to offer him. So I, we want to know if you believe in Baker or not. And at the end of the video, Jay and I will give you our opinions on Baker Mayfield. But Jay, give me your opinion. What do the Browns need to do with OBJ? I personally going to say no, do not trade him. I just don't think you're going to get back what you originally got. I mean, when you traded for Odell Beckham, you gave up a first rounder, and I believe you traded away Jabril Peppers as well to the New York Giants. So, and at the time, that was reasonable. <coughs> Odell Beckham Jr. is probably top five at his position. And even now, I think he has the upside to eventually get there again. But overall, value wise, you're just not going to get back what you originally gave away for Odell. And I do think he still has a little more to grow. Looking at the receiving core, if you have a healthy OBJ, you just re-signed Rashard Higgins, you got a great hands of um, Jarvis Landry, and then a double tight end threat in Austin Hooper and David Njoku. This receiving core doesn't need nothing else. Don't touch it. Don't mess it up. If, old saying, if it's not broke, don't fix it. And OBJ, I think when he's healthy, can figure things out. There's a lot of speculation that Baker Mayfield forces the ball to OBJ, and I don't disagree. That was definitely You could definitely see that if you watched any Browns game. However, the Browns, for the most of the time that duo was around, had – Freddie Kitchens at the head coach. Now they got a coach that is one of the better coaches in the year. He just won coach of the year, um, Kevin Stefanski. So I think with him around, it'll be able to fix that, you know, forcefulness you feel between Baker Mayfield and OBJ, and he'll be able to even out the offense. And, excuse me, we know the Browns in general aren't even going to be this huge passing team. Yes, they'll pass the ball when they need to, but they're going to let that backfield do the work, and Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt and OBJ will just be an over-the-top guy that the Browns can rely on as a safety blanket. I don't think we'll see that forcefulness anymore like we used to because this is going to be such a run-heavy team, in my opinion. Yeah, that's the biggest thing for me is the fact that this Browns offense is mainly a run-oriented offense that when the run game's good, opens up the passing attack, which is why I'm going to say that the Browns should trade Odell Beckham Jr. Um, his production really hasn't been that great. I mean, looking at his last few seasons, first year with the Browns, he went just over 1,000 yards. Last year, 300-something because he got injured. But his, his, his production since 2016 uh, was when he, really took, when he really took a nosedive. He was averaging 1,500-something yards with the Giants, then really went down from there. So he's, he's not who he was. Now, you do make a good point. They, they gave up a first-rounder for him, and you won't get that back. There's just really not a chance you do. He's not worth that anymore. But I do think that it's worth eating that for a potential second rounder. Maybe you get you look at other receivers, pick up Kadarius Tony from the University of Florida, and I think that could do a good job of filling his role because I do think the Browns are better off without him. Looking at Baker's second half or the later half of, of the season last year where he went on that 20 touchdowns to one interception run, that was uncoincidentally or not coincidentally, whatever you want to say, the same time OBJ got injured and, and he was spreading the ball out between his other receivers and just being smarter with the football. I think no OBJ uh, brings out a better side of Baker Mayfield. And like you said, I think OBJ causes Baker to force the ball to him. And I, I do think that, like I said, this Browns, this Browns offense is running oriented, supplemented with some passing. And I think OBJ just does not help them out. And I think they should just get whatever they can for him. Yeah, I mean, it's fair enough. There's an argument to both sides. But to me, the Browns, their biggest... Um, downside this past season and off season was their defense wasn't the greatest but they addressed that and John Johnson a good safety from the Rams and Troy Hill a great slot corner from the Rams as well and Miles Garrett he's got a little bit of help now and there's still the draft to add more depth to that defense that was really the only downside to this Browns team on the offense like I said you got a good receiving core the offense line is the highest paid and one of the best in the NFL in the backfield I already talked about that Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt to me just overall the things that you needed to fix was on the defense and you fix that now don't touch it just let's just see how this pans out I mean obviously this is kind of the time to trade him because in one more year if he just is bad again there's going to be zero trade val value for him right now he's kind of a mystery and a wild card we don't know what OBJ will be but I think the Browns are just better off rolling the dice on him and hoping it's for the better of good like I said the team really if he's even just a normal above average receiver and he doesn't mess up the chemistry that will be fine he's not going to even if he's not a top five guy again that is fine you just want him to be able to catch the football and the browns i just think they need to let things play out how they are now 
Your team is perfect for the most part. Don't go messing up and trying to make a trade and go over the top. Yeah, outside of the, the football aspect, I think I think OBJ still has some of the best hands in the game. He does catch the ball very well, uh, really well, and he's only 28, so he's not too old. But I don't think OBJ is really the greatest of teammates. Uh, obviously, he does have good chemistry with Jarvis Landry, but he's just, I don't know, I just don't like the way he plays football all the time. That's just a personal thing for me. But I really wish we would have seen him be able to finish this season with the Browns. Had he not get injured, this might not even be a question of will we want to trade him because he might have done so well. But the question or is, so bad. or so bad, or yeah, sorry, or so bad. Um, but the question is, how could the Browns have pushed past the Chiefs in that six-point loss uh, in Kansas City? Could they have pushed past hit, uh, pushed past the Chiefs with OBJ healthy and in the game, or could they have used somebody else in his place better? But like I said, had he not got injured, and we know the answer to the question, this might not be a question of whether or not they should trade him. So I just uh, obviously it doesn't really help to say which he wouldn't have got injured. But I think if he obviously would have played out this full season, this this really wouldn't be a question. Yeah, overall, I just think the Browns. I truly think they are a huge AFC threat at this point. With them fixing the defense this offseason, I'm not going to say they're going to take down the Kansas City Chiefs, but if they took them down, I would not be surprised. I mean, looking at the AFC, I think the Browns, if Odell turns out to be the guy he could be, or even just half of that, he's just not a problem for the Browns. I seriously think this team could go on and win the division in the AFC North. It won't be hard, or it won't be easy with the Baltimore Ravens and Steelers both being playoff teams and the Bengals. I don't think they're serious, but Joe Burrow is not a joke. I think this Browns team can win the division, and I think Odell Beckham could be the sweetener that helps them finish it off. Yeah, and as far as OBJ's perspective, I don't know if I'm really that opposed to being traded there's plenty of good teams hell i think if he ends up outside of of cleveland the possibility of him going to tampa bay is really it's really there not that green bay is in the name green bay yes those are two two good teams out of the nfc um so i'm not thinking it's the end of the world if i'm obj and i get traded from the browns but all in all i think their their best option is to cut their losses with obj trade like i said for potential i think realistic upside is trade for a second rounder and pick up a, a good receiver like I said Kadarius Tony is, is an example somebody that will get a separation will get open but doesn't have the OBJ factor that causes Baker to force him to football yeah I gotta say even though I don't want the Browns to trade him if he ended up in Green Bay I would think that's very interesting <laughs> the Packers are a serious threat with him and Devontae Adams for sure guys that's all for the video about whether or not the Browns should trade OBJ that's our opinions we want to hear in the comments what yours is but as far as the question of the day Jay, you, you rocking with Baker moving forward? You know, no? if the price is right, these new quarterbacks that are due for a big contract after the rookie contract seem to be the next highest paid guy. Always set the record as the highest paid in the NFL. And I think Josh Allen has earned that right. But Baker Mayfield, I'm just not giving him $40 million a year, in my opinion. I think he's $30 million a year, and that's only a $10 million difference. But he's not going to be the guy that's worth taking 20% of my salary cap. I think he'll be good enough to move forwards with what he did last year, the last half of the season, really matured and really, really played good football. I just hope that he is mature enough, which he hasn't really shown that quality off the field. My point is I hope he's mature enough to not take – a, not, not hold out like Dak did for a huge contract that takes away from the defensive side of the football or just any other factor of the team. But all in all, I think, yes, Baker is your guy for the future. I think he's good enough to take the Browns somewhere good. Sounds good. All right, guys, two-minute warning. Thanks for watching.